Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example based on the precessor concrete. See the question here. A precessor concrete beam of rectangular section 300 mm by 600 mm has a deep span of 12 meters. The effective precessing force is 980 kN at an eccentricity of 120 mm. Determine the dead load of the beam is 4.5 kN per meter and the beam has to carry a live load of 7.5 kN per meter. Determine the extreme stresses. First one will be end condition. Second one will be at the midsection without the action of live load. Third one will be at the midsection with the action of live load. So I already told the concept in the introduction topic. So if a tendon is placed exactly at the centroidal axis, you will get extreme stresses will be equal to P by A plus or minus M by Z. But if the tendon will be placed at an eccentricity, see here, if the tendon is the effective precessing force at an eccentricity, means you will get minus or plus P by Z. See here, this is the rectangular beam, roughly I am drawing here, of span. So this is the simply supported beam. So this is the centroidal axis. So this is the centroidal axis. So here, somewhere the tendon will be precessing force. So here, this is the tendons which is placed at an eccentricity given in the question 120 mm. So this is the central axis, this is the tendon. Okay. So, I am showing the simply supported beam AB of span L, span of 12 meters. So, precessing force which is acting on the both sides that is P will be equal to 980 kilonewton. And also given the rectangular cross section of, so how much it will be? 300 by 400 in mm. So, first take down the given data. Based on that, we will get a concept what we have to do. So, rectangular beam. B will be equal to 300 in mm, D will be equal to 600 in mm, sorry, here we have to change this value to 600, next L equal to 12 meters, effective precessing force will be equal to 980 kN, at an eccentricity will be equal to 120 in mm, so the dead load of the beam, so I am taking W into D, so for W prefix D, which is 4.5 kilonewton per meter and the beam has to carry a live load of WLE will be equal to 7.5 kilonewton per meter to determine the extreme stresses. So I told you the to determine the extreme stresses the formula will be this one but here they have given some conditions. So what are those conditions? First condition will be at the end section. At the end section. So at the end section the extreme stresses formula will be P by A minus or plus P E by Z equal to 0. See here, end section we know moment will be equal to 0. So if moment will be equal to 0, extreme stresses due to bending moment you won't get here. Therefore, we are considering only P by A minus P E by Z. Okay, then solve this formula. Okay, what is P by A? P by A is the extreme stresses due to precessing force. First P value, which is given 980 kilonewton. 980 into 10 to the power of 3 converts into Newton. So we know precessing force in terms of Newton per mm square. So area is already given, that is 400 by 600 mm. So that is mm square. If you simplify this one, so how much you will get? So directly simplify in the calculators, you will get 5.44 Newton per mm square. Similarly, P E by Z. So, this stress will be the extreme stresses due to the eccentricity of the pre-stressing force. Again, we know 980 into 10 to the power of 3. E value will be 120 in mm. And what about this Z? So, I already told you so many times in the previous examples also. So, Z will be equal to I by Y. For rectangular section, what is this I value? That one will be equal to BD cube by 2L. And what is the Y? 
y v equal to maximum distance by 2. So that is d by 2. So if you simplify this one, bd cube by 2 well into 2 by d, that one will be equal to bd square by 6. So simplify this z value here, how much you will get? bd square by 6 equal to 300 by 400 square by 6. So we know 2 well, 2 times you will go, three, four, sorry, 300 by 600. Sorry, here also 300 by 600. Okay. So after simplifying, your value will be 5.44. Here also 300 by 600 by 300 into 600 by 6. So finally, how much you will get here after simplifying? BD square by 6 will be equal to 18 into 10 to the power of 6 in mm cube. So we will get mm cube. So this bd cube by 2 will be in terms of mm power 4 and d by 2 will be in mm. So after cancelling you will get mm cube here. So again take down that value here 18 into 10 to the power of 6 in mm cube. So here Newton mm. So if you cal again cancel mm mm here you will get final value in Newton per mm square. And simplify this value how much you will get. Uh, so that one will be equal to. 6.53 minus or plus 6.53. So extreme stresses at top will be equal to how much? For the end section, extreme, so this is the first one, extreme stresses at top equal to minus, sorry, 5.44 minus 6.53. At bottom will be equal to 5.44 plus 6.53. So this one will be equal to how much you will get? If you simplify, you will get minus 1.109 Newton per mm square, which was in tension. And this one will be equal to 11.97 Newton per mm square. So this one will be in compression. We know positive will take compression and negative will take tension. So these are the values at top and bottom. So based on this, we can draw the stress diagram, final stresses diagram. So one will be minus 1.109, another one will be 11.97. See here, I am showing here. So this is the cross section of the beam, which is 300 by 600 mm which is the rectangular section so stresses due to pre-stressing force p by a what is the value already obtained for us which is 5.44 and p by z value stresses due to the eccentricity of the pre-stressing force so top will be minus which is minus pe by z and bottom will be plus pe by z so so this is the reference line so negative means we are taking left side and positive means we are taking right side and we are drawing both lines. So this is how extreme stresses due to the distressing force. And finally, if you minus these two, you will get a 1.09, which is negative side. And if you add these two, you will get positive side, which is 11.97. So these are the final stresses value for the obtained values in the intersection. Then move to the next point. That is, what is the next condition they are giving? At the midsection without the action of live load means only we have to consider the dead load. So at the midsection, midsection means we know we will get bending moment also. End section moment will be zero. Midsection will get bending moment. So therefore, what we are considering in the formula we have to consider m by z also. So we are taking that point. Second point. Midsection without the action of live load means considering only dead load like that. So we know the formula P by A minus or plus P E by Z plus or minus M by Z. So these values already we simplified. Okay. Next to simplify the value only for M by Z. Again here M. What is the value of M? So we know M value equal to W L square by 8. And only purely dead load. Okay. Because we, we are not taking live load. So what is the W D? 
so you can already note down the given data that is 4.5 into length of the span will be taken 6 so what is the value length 12 square by 8 so if you simplify this one how much you will get wd will be equal to so total moment will be equal to 81 kilo newton motor so m value be equal to 81 kilo newton meter again m by z equal to 81 so for kilo newton i am taking into newton that is 10 to the power of 3 again meter into millimeter that is 10 to the power of 3 total newton mm will get and again z value bd square by 6 already we simplified that one so you check before that is 10 to the power of 6 mm cube so if you can cancel these two values you will get final value in terms of newton per mm square again what is the simplify for value for this uh, m by z that one will be equal to plus or minus 4.5 so according to the formula extreme stresses at the top at top will be equal to so p by a minus p e by z plus m by z so what is p by a here p by a is 5.44 minus p e by z is 6.53 plus 4.5 so simplify this value and again at the bottom again p by a plus p e by z minus m by z again simplify this value we will see how much you will get 5.44 plus 6.53 minus 4.5 so this value will be 3.41 newton per mm square and this value will be 7.47 newton per mm square so both are compression only so because of positive values okay see here if both are compression what is uh, how the value you will obtain for the final stresses you see individually m by z will be plus 4.5 and minus 4.5 and we will see the diagram how it indicates See here, this is the diagram. See here, so this is the cross section of the beam, and P by A will be 5.44, and P by Z value, one will be negative minus 6.53 plus 6.53. So, and bending moment, one will be 4.50 at the top, positive, bottom will be negative, which is minus 4.50 okay and final stresses value will be both are positive towards right only reference line towards right 3.417.47 .47. so these are the final stresses diagram at the mid span section so end section you won't get moment this diagram but for mid span section you will get this diagram so for that final stress diagram will be this one and the last condition will be see what is the last condition given here At the midsection with the action of live load. So at the midsection only. At the midsection means we will get moment also. With the action of live load means just we have to add the live load. See here. Means we know the formula. With the action of live load. So we have to consider the live load also. P by A minus or plus P E by Z. Plus or minus M by Z is the formula. So in the second condition. Moment are considering only dead load moment but here in the third condition we are we are also considering the live load moment so whatever the moment to obtain we are considering both dead load and live load so already here dead load will be considered in the previous condition but here we have to consider live load also for this third condition okay so for that one what we have to do live load moment will be equal to wl l square by 8 so already wl will be given which is 7.5 and again length of the span will be 12 square by 8 so if you simplify how much you will get ml by z will be equal to so that one will be equal to approximately 7.5 plus or minus 7.50 newton per mm square so already the final value will be this much so up to here pa minus plus p by z plus md by z the value will be 3.41 so at the top we are continuing 3.41 plus 
m by z 3.41 plus ml by z that one will be equal to plus 7.50 so at the top the value will be equal to 10.91 newton per mm square and at the bottom so just i am adding in this formula only so already this three value will be p a p by z minus m by z will be 7.47 and removing this uh, obtained value minus 7.50 so almost we will get 0 approximately minus 0 0.03 newton per mm square so these are the final stresses uh, at the top and bottom for the third condition means with the action of live load see here the diagram how it will be i will show you the diagram for that one also so this is the diagram So these are the final stresses so this is the cross section of the beam so the same value p by a will be equal to 5 by 4 stresses due to pre-stressing force and stresses due to eccentricity of the pre-stressing force and stresses due to the bending moment okay only dead load bending moment stresses due to the live load bending moment one will be positive another will be negative here also positive negative and final stresses if we add all these things we will get compression therefore we are taking towards right and here it will be tension this one will be tension negative and this one will be compression positive and we are taking towards left to this reference line and we are adding these two so this is the final stresses diagram for the third condition so this is how we have to solve the problems based on the given condition so if a tendon is acting at some eccentricity from the centroidal axis 